Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glenn Tan speaking. This time, I'm continuing to talk about UMatch 6 or UMatch LNS, the controllers. According to the Controller Times, this presentation divides into these seven parts. I have put the corresponding videos linkages at the below description area just for your convenience. Wireless Remote Controller I just take the typical wireless remote controller to introduce. Here is the appearance. For different meaning of the buttons, I just put it here. Actually, I just copy from the owner's menu. What it can do is to change the mode and change the fan speed and also turn on and turn off different functions. And this wireless remote controller, it is a standard for classic tie and floor ceiling tie. As for the duct tie, if you would like or you you don't would like to control by the wired controller, you can also choose a light bulb. Here is this model, which you can receive the signal from the wireless remote controller, this one. And then you can control the duct tie only from this wireless remote controller. As for the cassette tie and the floor ceiling pipe, the receiver it is built in. Here is what I mean the built in. This is for the floor ceiling tie. Here is the infrared receiver, and this is for the cassette tie. This is the infrared receiver. As for the duct tie, you always or you must install this wire controller and here and also here is the infrared receiver. It can receive the wireless remote controller, the control signal, no matter the model of this wireless remote controller. I will introduce the different functions for the wireless remote controller. First is the I feel function. The purpose of this one is according to the detected value from the temperature Temperature sensor inside the remote control, and then we will send this detected information to the air conditioner, which means we can higher the detected sensitivity to detect the room temperature more accuracy to for the customer, as this remote control is close to the user, so the detected value it should be more accuracy. And also attention that this. Communication will update the detected value every 10 minutes and also you need to put this remote control within the infrared receiver which means you can send this value and then the indoor unit can receive the signal. How to check the room temperatures and the outdoor ambient is press this temp this means the room temperature and this one means the outdoor ambient. The value will display on the light bulb. And press again to change. Healthy and fresh air function. For this one, it will just take turns just like this to when you press this button and for the healthy which is to turn on the cold plasma and for the fresh air which is to turn on the air damper and on the wireless remote controller this LED it will display just like this Action function, also called a degree heating function. How to uh, turn on it is on heating on stator. Press clock and timer, these two together. And then when the setting is OK, it will display these two to indicate it is uh, operating. Just like this.
energy saving function. For this one, during indoor unit cooling on mood, also press clock and temperature button. Then it will enter the SE for energy saving. And also under this setting, the fan speed is fixed. It cannot adjust to turbo mode. And also the set temperature also fixed, not available to adjust. On the other hand, this energy saving mode is complete with sleep function.